Welcome to Smart Money Life Trivia, the show that gets you rewarded for being a super smart and fast. My name is Coinsel Akuku and here is how to play. Follow Bladron TV's Instagram page, post all of your answers on this page while the show is going on live on TV. And finally, participants who answer all of the questions correctly stand a chance to be invited to the studio for a face-off where you get to win cash prizes. All of this and more on today's Smart Money Live Trivia. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is still Smart Money Live Trivia. So it's time for the game to begin. Bring out your phones and get ready. Remember, fastest fingers gets you close to winning something. Let the games begin in five, four, three, two, and one. The first question for today's Smart Money Live Trivia Show is, and the options are, mm, nice, interesting, right? On to the next question. And the options are, remember to be very fast. Not just fast, but be correct. So the last question for the first round is, hmm, interesting. What does that mean? The options are, The first question for the second round is, okay, options are, and the next question is, okay, who? The options are, interesting. Remember, fastest fingers, be very fast. The next question and the last question for the second round is, okay, interesting. If you're good with dates, this is for you. The options are, okay, okay, be very fast. Remember, you have to be very fast. So the first question for the third round is, and the options are, okay, okay. Next question. The options are, oh nice. Dates, again, if you're good with dates. And the final question of the third round is, okay. And the options are, hmm. first question is okay mm, nice and the options are very fast with your answers very fast on to the next question <laughs> voila and the options are okay tap 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 very fast very fast very fast, very fast. The final question of the day is, and the options are,
Dead Sea, the lake is sufficiently buoyant that people can float easily. Short El Jared, Tunisia. It is a large endohaic salt lake in southern Tunisia. The name can be translated from the Arabic into English as Lagoon of the Land of Palms. The bottom of Shot El Jared is located between 10 and 25 meters below sea level. It is the largest salt pan of the Sahara Desert with a surface area of over 7,000 kilometers square. The site has a typical hot desert climate. Due to the harsh climates with mean annual rainfall of below 100 millimeters and daytime temperatures sometimes reaching 50 degrees Celsius, the lake can be crossed by foot and even by car, but this is very dangerous since the salt crust is not always firm. During winter when the lake is full, it can be crossed by boat. Piles of salt at its edges are collected for salt production processing. Relict populations of the West African crocodile persisted in the short Algerid until the early 20th century. Pink flamingos have been known to use the shores of the lake as nesting sites in springtime. Short Algerid was used as a filming location for the Star Wars series. Betsiboka River, Madagascar the Betsiboka estuary on the northwest coast of Madagascar is the mouth of Madagascar's largest river and one of the world's fast-changing coastlines. Nearly a century of extensive logging of Madagascar's rainforest and coastal mangroves has resulted in nearly complete clearing of the land and fantastic rates of erosion. After every every rain, the bright red soils are washed from the hillsides into the streams and rivers to the coast. The bright red color seen in the river's jellyfish like tentacles and the sandbars in between is the result of iron-rich sediments that get washed from the hills during heavy rain and deposited in the river's mouth. It is estimated that as many as 400 tons of soil per acre is washed away every year during the rainy season, turning the Betsiboka River blood red and leaving deep gorges known as Lavaca. Astronauts describe their view of Madagascar as bleeding into the ocean. Deforestation has long been an issue for Madagascar as it is one of the world's top biodiversity conservation sites because of the large number of endemic species that live here and rely on the island's forest cover, one that the island is rapidly losing. Madagascar's isolation from the African continent for millions of years has preserved and produced thousands of species of plants and animals found nowhere else on Earth. Nine out of ever 10 species of plants and animals found in Madagascar are endemic. This large number of unique species makes deforestation a great threat to global biodiversity. Lake Helia Australia's famous Pink Lake Helia is a sight to behold. Discovered in 1802 by a Royal Navy explorer, it is a saline lake on the edge of Middle Island, the largest of the island and islets that make up the Recherche Archipelago in the Goldfields Esperance region off the south coast of Western Australia. It is particularly notable for its pink color. A long and thin shore divides the southern ocean from the lake. The vibrant color is permanent and does not alter when the water is taken in a container. The pink color is considered to be due to the presence of the organism Dunalele salina. According to the official site for the Pink Lake of Australia, it is perfectly safe to swim in the lake. Despite the coloration, the water is clear and will not cause any harm to you or your skin. Just like most seas and ocean around the world, with the distinct exception of not having any macroorganisms like fish to worry about. The algae are completely harmless, but drinking hypersaline water is a no-no. If, however, on the rare occasion you do find yourself near the lake and go for a swim, you'll be in for an interesting experience. The lake is nowadays primarily a tourist attraction, but was once used to extract the salt. Lake Hillier is truly stunning with its distinctive strawberry milkshake color. Devil's Bat Pool, New Zealand this electric green sulfur lake in New Zealand looks like a cartoonish radioactive dump site, but it's certainly not because it's real. It is home to a number of roiling, bubbling geothermal sites, but possibly the most intriguing is one of its most calm, known as the Devil's Bath. 
This neon green pool of stagnant stink water is a natural wonder. Between geysers and colorful steaming mud bogs, the Waio Tapu volcanic era offers no shortage of wondrous attractions. The Devil's Bath may not have as many active reactions as other features in the vicinity, but it is still the most eye-catching and the most intriguingly named. The pool sits in a slight depression likely created from massive eruption from underground. It is well out of reach of visiting gawkers but can be seen clearly from above. The bright green water gets its color from deposits of sulfur that rise to the surface and float on top. The green identifies that active mineral while other hues found across the park such as blues, reds and otherwise signify other volcanic elements. Despite the name and almost frightening display of geothermal chemistry, the Devil's Bath and all of the volcanic craziness in the area are a favorite attraction for traveling families looking to show their kids how bizarre and unnatural nature can look. Laguna Verde, Bolivia. Laguna Verde is a salt lake in an endoric basin. Laguna Verde is a high altitude salt lake in southwest of Bolivia, known for its green color. It sits at the foot of two volcanoes, Linca Cabo and Juriques, which straddle the border of Chile. Laguna Blanca, white in color, is separated from Laguna Verde by a narrow isthmus. The surrounding Eduardo Avario National Reserve of Andean Fauna features hot springs plus condors and several species of flamingo. Environmental conditions have been compared to those on the planet Mars and Laguna Verde has been cited as an example of how a lake on Mars would have evolved. The lake is one of Bolivia's most important tourism targets. The lake's emerald green waters are a spectacular sight, but it's not a great place for a swim. Laguna Verde has high concentrations of lead, sulfur, arsenic, and calcium carbonates, making it less than appealing to all but the most resilient extremophiles. And due to the high mineral content, the waters of Lake Verde can remain liquid at temperatures as low as minus 6.16 degrees Fahrenheit, but these same minerals give the lake its fantastic green color, making it a hot spot for photographers and fans of strange scenery. Hells of Beppo The Hells of Beppo are seven spectacular hot springs for viewing rather than bathing, displaying steaming ponds of various colors, bubbling mud pools, and other hydrothermal activity. The Hells are presented to visitors in a rather touristy fashion which may not appeal to everybody. Five of the seven hells are located in Kanawa district and two in the more remote Shibaseki district. Kanawa district hells, the first one is called Humi Jikoku. One of the more beautiful hells, the sea hell features a pond of boiling blue water. In its spacious gardens, there are a few smaller orange colored hells and a clear water pond with lotus flowers whose large leaves are strong enough to carry small children. The second hell is known as Onishibozu Jikoku. This hell is named after the mud bubbles which emerge from boiling mud pools and look like the shaven heads of monks. There's also a food bath with clear water. Adjacent to the hell is a public bath with multiple pools that cost at additional 622 yen. The third is Shiraiki Jikoku. True to its name, the white pond hell features a pond of hot milky water. The pond is surrounded by a nice garden and a small rundown aquarium that has seen better days. The fourth is Kamado Jikoku. The cooking pot hell features several boiling ponds and a flashy demon statue as cook. On the grounds, visitors can drink hot spring water, enjoy hand and foot baths, inhale the hot spring steam, and try various snacks cooked or steamed by the hot spring. Oniyama Jikoku A large number of crocodiles are bred and kept on the grounds of the monster mountain hell. Shibasaki discrete hells. The first is Chinoike Jikoku. The blood pond hell features a pond of hot red water and a large souvenir shop. It is one of the more photogenic hells. The second one is known as Tasumaki Jikoku. The spout hell features a boiling hot geyser which erupts every 30-40 minutes for about 6-10 to 10 minutes. A stone plate above the geyser hinders it to reach its full height. A short walking trail leads up to the forested slope in the back of hell grounds. Blue Lagoon Iceland. The water's milky blue shade is due to its high silica content. The silica forms a soft white mud on the bottom of the lake which bathers rub on themselves. The water is also rich in salts and algae. In a country of fire and frost, geothermal hot springs are one of the best ways to warm up and the blue lagoon is the king of them all. 
Though it is an undeniable attraction, there are a lot of things that could come as a surprise to first-time visitors. If floating in the warm waters of the Blue Lagoon is high on your bucket list, the Iceland Blue Lagoon is not a natural spring. While Iceland is a country brimming with natural hot springs, the Blue Lagoon isn't one of them. The land is natural, as is the lava that shapes the pool, but the water is actually the result of runoff from the geothermal power plant next door. The plant was built first and it uses Iceland volcanic landscape to produce heat power. The runoff is filtered straight into the Blue Lagoon, which is what hits the water. That doesn't mean it's dangerous or toxic, far from it, it's just not the natural phenomenon that many people believe it to be. Laguna Colorado The Laguna Colorado or Red Lagoon is a shallow salt lake peppered with white borax island. It spans 6,000 acres but is less than a meter deep. Folklore suggests the water is actually the blood of the gods, though scientists seem to believe the color comes from the algae and rich minerals in the water. Photographers from around the world are attracted by the spectacular setting with the deep crimson lake a stark contrast to the clear blue sky and the white snow on the distant mountains. Flamingos are drawn to the lake thanks to its abundant supply of plankton. Three of the world's six species of flamingo can be found here. The water looks most red just before sunset. Though, seeing the mist rising from the volcanic warm water in the early morning is also pretty special. If you're lucky, you'll be able to get a picture of the flamingos in flight with the mirrored surface reflecting them and the Andes in the background. The best time to visit Bolivia and its popular neighbor Peru is during winter which features blue skies, sunshine and very little rain. Cano Cristalis, Colombia Cano Cristales is a Colombian river located in the Serrania de la Macarena province of Meta and is a tributary of the Guayabero River. Over the years, some have said the river is one of the most beautiful on earth. National Geographic quotes that the river seems to have been from the Garden of Eden. The river is commonly called the River of Five Colors or the Liquid Rainbow and is noted for its striking colors. The bed of the river from the end of July through November is variously colored yellow, green, blue, black, and especially red. The last coast by Macarena clavigera plants on the riverbed, visit Cano Cristals during the wet or dry seasons in Colombia, and you would be forgiven for wondering what all the force is about. However, travel there from June to November, the moderate months between the extremes of the wet and dry season, and you will witness one of the modest nature's crowning glories. This liquid rainbow, as it is also called, is one of the South American country's most spectacular natural wonders thanks to its vivid colors. For decades, tourists, even Colombian ones, stayed away from the Cano Cristal as it was in a region controlled by FARC guerrillas. However, following the peace accord signed in 2016, the area has opened up to international tourism. The first question, which is, bicameral legislature exists for which purpose? The answer to the question is, to prevent the concentration of power on the legislative house. Did you get that correctly? That seems like a lot, right? <laughs> I hope you got it correctly. The answer to the question is Amadou Bello. The question says the leader of the Northern People's Congress was Amadou Bello. And the answer to the question which says universal adult suffrage means qualified citizens can vote. And the answer to this question that says in 1991, administrative reform produced nine new states and how many local government areas? The answer to that question is 140 additional local government areas. Name the two political parties founded by Babangida. And the answer is SDP and NRC. Did you get that correctly? And the answer to this question that says what date was Sharia established? The answer is 27th January. The answer to the question which says what is the predominant Muslim state? The answer is Zamfar. And the answer to this question 
that says what month was private radio broadcasting in Nigeria? And the answer is 1st September. And the answer to this question that says the first kidney transplant in Nigeria was conducted by Dr. Shonibare. Would you like to see what it looks like? I'd like to see. Oh, thank you so much, sir. And the answer to the question that says Agbani Darago was crowned Miss World on what date? The answer is 2nd August. The answer to the question is ooh, Nigeria. Nigeria became the first African country to completely pay off its debt to the Paris Club. And the answer to this question that says which bank became the first African bank to be listed on the London Stock Exchange? The answer is Union Bank. All right, guys, it's a wrap on today's Smart Money Live Trivia Show. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. All you have to do now is turn on your post notifications on all your social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, so you get updated on latest news and how you're going to go about joining me here in the studio for a face-off to win your cash prizes. Okay, okay. My name is Kwan Sarakoko. Join me again, same time, same place. Bye.